A fish wheel has been part of native culture in Alaska for hundreds of years. The design is still pretty much the same. We've just improved on materials with it being aluminum instead of wooden woven baskets and that sort of thing, but it's still fairly much the same. Um, so we've taken a really primitive uh, type of fishing apparatus and use it with some of our most scientific technology for enumerating fish coming into the Kenai River. Um, it's going to capture uh, sockeye salmon, coho salmon when they start returning, pink salmon, uh, even years up here are big pink salmon return years. Uh, occasionally you'll catch a king salmon. King salmon tend to run more all over the channel as opposed to being strongly bank oriented. But the purpose of the wheel is to count the number of species of fish that they, of the different species of fish that are captured and then a portion out and say 75% of those are sockeye, 10% of those were pinks, and the remainder were coho possibly at that time of the year. And that way they can do the same thing and apply those numbers to the sonar count. So maybe they have um, a, a sonar count of 100,000 fish that day, which is fairly high. But then if 10% of that was some other species, then it might represent that really we only have 90 or you know, 90,000 sockeye in the river for that particular day. So, and those numbers, the apportioning process is only effective when you have high numbers of a species in there. If you only have 10 coho, for example, that come across or are caught in the fish wheel, then it's not going to be a very accurate representation by taking a percentage of the whole. So you have to have some fairly significant numbers there coming into the fish wheel.